Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So today in this video, I'll be talking about the reporting section of the recruitment module. As you know, recruitment is a very important module, which is an HR module, okay? So recruitment is the first step of, uh, you know, creating an employee. So it's really important to follow up with everything which is going through the recruiting. So here in the recruitment module, we have this reporting section where we have analysis of the recruitment, the source, the time and stage and so on. So just by looking at the reporting section itself, you'll get the complete idea of the things which is happening inside the recruitment. That is how many people are, you know, applying for it, how many recruitments are there currently and so on. So I'm not wasting your time. Let's move on to the module and see how it works. So now let's take a look at the reporting section of the recruitment module. So for that, I'm opening the recruitment over here. And after opening, we have so much menus and under the menu called reporting, we have uh, options like recruitment analysis, source analysis, time and stage analysis, as well as team performance. So first, let's go through the recruitment analysis. This is, this is basically a menu where you get the analysis regarding the recruitment. Okay, so you know what a recruitment is. So everything regarding the recruitment can be viewed here through this analysis. So basically, this is providing us two types of views, which is the graph view as well as the pivot view. This is the graph view. And here you have the option to add the measures. So currently it shows the applicant as well as the start date. So I'll change it to hired ones. And here you have the bar chart for this. So you can see two different colors, which is in progress and the hired ones. Okay. So you have the applicants over here. The ones which are in progress, the ones which are hired can be viewed here. Similarly, you have a line chart for it as well as a pie chart. Okay. So as you all know, for line chart, we have two types of views, which is the start view as well as the cumulative view. And also you can view it in ascending and descending order. And if you take the bar chart, you have the start view alone. Okay, this can also be viewed in ascending and descending order. Okay, so this is the recruitment analysis in graphical view. Now, if you just take a look at the pivot view, this is how it looks. So this is the table and you can add as much measures you want. So I'm adding hired ratio to it. I'm adding meetings, process duration and count. So whichever measures you want, you can add all at a time. But in case of graph view, only a single measure can be used. Okay. So here you have the option to flip the axis. You can expand all as well as import uh, that is the download the Excel SX file. Okay. And if you want to insert it into spreadsheet, it's that simple. Click on insert in spreadsheet button. You can either insert it into a blank spreadsheet or an existing spreadsheet and choose any one of them and confirm it. Which shows a message called new spreadsheet created in documents. Okay. So here's the table. This is how you insert it into a spreadsheet. Now let's go back to the recruitment analysis. So just by taking a look at this recruitment analysis, you know how many are hired, how many are in progress and so on. Okay. So that's the recruitment analysis. Next you have the source analysis. Okay. So this is the source analysis. Uh, here if you take a look at the measures, you have the exact same measures which you found inside the recruitment analysis. This will be a data regarding the source of the recruitments. Okay. So you can see the different colors which shows in progress, hired and also the sum. Okay. So we'll just put the hired ones. So this is the hired ones. This is the source. Okay. And here you have the line chart for the same, the pie chart. Okay. And the very same thing can be viewed in pivot table as well. So this is the source analysis. So this is of last 365 days applicants. Okay. So you have the total here of the applicant hired and refused ones and then also the different recruitments which are open. Okay. So that's the source analysis. As I said before, you can add measures towards this source. See, measures can be added according to your need. So that's the source analysis. Here also we have two views which is graph and pivot. Next you have time and stage analysis that is what time it takes in different stages. So you can see the different stages like initial qualification, first interview, second interview and contract proposal. So these are all different stages and it shows exactly how much time it is taking. Okay. Each, you know, candidate, how much time it takes in each stage. So you have different colors showing different recruitments as consultant, experienced developer, HR manager, marketing and community manager, trainee and so on. Okay. So this is the line chart of the time and stage analysis. Here you have the uh, bar chart of different stages. As you can see here, you have the initial qualification, 
first interview, second interview and contract proposal. It shows the time. So from here, you can change it to count. Okay, the count of the, you know, candidates or in different stages. And here you have the line chart, the bar chart. I mean, the pie chart, sorry. Okay, so that's the graphical view of the time and stage analysis. So this gives you a clarity of the time taken by the candidates under different stages. Okay, so here is the pivot table of the same. Uh, we have the different recruitments as well as things like the days and stage, uh, like different stages and how many days they are taking in different stages. So here you have the initial qualification, first interview, second interview and the contract proposal. If you want to add count to it, they can also be added. So that's the time and stage analysis. And finally, we have the team performance. So this is the performance of your team. Here you have Mark Demo as well as Michelle Edmund. So they are performance in, in case of the progress ones and the hired ones. Okay, under that person, how many are in progress and how many are hired can be viewed over here. We have the line chart of the same and the pie chart. So as I said before, you have different measures. You can insert it into a spreadsheet and so on. And here you have the different colors and what these colors means. So here you have the people who are in progress under Mark Demo and the people who are hired under Mark Demo. Similarly, we have the that in progress and hired ones of Michelle Littman also. Now, this is the pivot table of the team performance where you have the different recruitments and also measures like applicant hired and refused ones. So that's all about the reporting of the recruitment module. I hope it's clear for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.